Hey everyone, welcome to another Muddy Reviews. Today I'm going to be going over these IR patches and what's inside this box, which we'll get to after we talk about these patches. So these came in today. I got these from Amazon, which I will link to the Amazon store, which I got them from. Uh, this first one is from, which is this IR patch here, this 3x5 Ranger Green came from tacticalfreaky.com. It's a Tactical Freaky USA. These guys are actually out of Spain. I had uh, purchased stuff from them when I lived in Spain and uh, they make good stuff. So I was actually more than happy to get from something from them again when I saw them uh, with a US based store on Amazon. So. Like I said, I had purchased from them before in Spain, and I knew their stuff wasn't terrible. Uh, pretty good quality. And this IR patch does not disappoint. It is the same quality as the stuff I'd gotten in Spain. Uh, Stitching is good. Material underneath is, uh, it is IR. I've, I've seen them under and on, so it does reflect. And the Cordura, I mean, it's Ranger Green. It's nice. Laser cutting is good. It's I, I never had any issues of the Cordura like coming up off of the IR, uh, the 3M material, like I did with some of my issued patches, so that's a bonus. I will definitely say that's a positive. Um, yep, yeah, so enough of that. It does come back with uh, this nice Ranger Green Velcro if you need to sew it to something. I don't because it's going on a plate carrier, but yep. Yeah. Look at this guy's out of here. Next two are these blacked out American flags. And they did not come from Tactical Freaky, but I did get them off Amazon. And they actually came from Tim Tac. They're just your standard, you know, three and a half by two. It says they're made in China, so I can't speak for uh, the IR material itself. According to their uh, store on Amazon, it is IR reflective. I mean, they showed pictures of it reflecting. It looks close enough. I mean, I, I would hope it is. It might be, it might not be. I really don't care. This is for uh, BB warring. I'm not gonna be wearing this stuff at work, trying to actually do uh, any real IFFing. I'm not trying to identify myself to uh, friends, friends and say I'm not a foe. This is just for looks. So I figured looks close enough, good enough for government work and it's good for me. Correlates with the t-shirt on the table. So uh, These also, like the Ranger Green one, came back with these little Velcro swatches. Just gonna add these to my big pile of Velcro swatches I already have. And got these specifically for this black moisture wicking t-shirt I got in Spain at Decathlon, which is a Spanish uh, retailer. Actually, I believe it's, it's a European retailer, honestly, not just Spain. Um, and they sell lots of like uh, hiking, uh, pretty much any sport you can imagine. It's probably one of the coolest sporting goods stores I've ever seen. Uh, they had everything under the sun. You, you want to do fencing? Yeah, decathlon's got you. You like rugby? Hey, decathlon's got you. Shooting sports? Decathlon's got you. I didn't find one sport that decathlon didn't cover in some capacity. It was like Academy and Dick's. Sporting goods on crack. They had everything. But yeah, so I took this Decathlon Moisture Wicking shirt. I mean, these were like five euro. They were not expensive at all. Made of Bangladesh, as you see here. Um, these things were awesome though. I love these Moisture Wicking shirts. I would get these on the regular. They last pretty long. And what I ended up doing is I just sewed some, uh, I got this guy upside down. I ended up sewing just uh, some black, black loop to the sleeves. I sewed a little patch of black loop on the back so I could put an IR tab. I made me a nice little uh, low vis t shirt I can run with kit. And now I got these blacked out flags to run on the black t shirt so I can be all low vis and obscure. But yeah, that's what I got these for. Looks kind of cool. These are actually going with the kit I'm working on. I'll be talking about more in future videos and showing you more of. But quality's nice. Uh, again, these patches feel really good. I would uh, recommend these to anybody looking for a uh, black on black America flag IR patch from, um, like I said, Tim Tac. I'll put the link in the description 
where I got these on Amazon for their store. Um, they feel nice. They, they again, um, they don't feel chintzy. Stitching's really good. The Corduras adhere to the IR material really well. It doesn't feel like it's going to be coming up anytime soon. So I'm, I'm really pleased with them. Get this shirt out of the way. So this guy in the box here. So I'm going to open this for the first time. So this is a belt from Jukmo. I got this also off Amazon. And this also is, so it's an unboxing for everybody and for me. Uh, this is also for that uh, kit I told you about I'm working on. What a cool little card because we focus on belts. Fancy. I guess they're experts. Uh, dear value customer, blah, 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 after service, yada, yada, whatever it says. I'll get to, I'll read that later. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this bad boy, shall we? So this is a gun belt I got off Amazon. Um, it was, God, it was not expensive. So um, that was kind of the appetizing price for me was I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a gun belt that I may or may not like. And I just wanted something for BB warring, but also for, if it turned out to be decent, for concealed carry. And that's why I got this guy. It's a uh, ratchet buckle. It would look sensible, get that out there, with regular clothing. It doesn't look overtly military. Get this uh, out here. So what it is, it's your basic nylon woven belt. I mean, these are traditionally military type belts, but not just military. Uh, kind of reminds me of scuba webbing, but I can't be certain if that's what it is. It's decently thick. I'd say at least a, a little thicker than a quarter. Feels definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm squeezing down pretty hard on it. It's not really moving. Feels more than rigid enough to hold a holster for sure and uh, magazines. Uh, I've been wearing gun belts for the better part of 18 years now, almost 19 years, uh, every day, just about uh, at my job. That's, that's kind of what I do. And um, I've worn all sorts of gun belts. I hear that? Listen to that. My ratchet. Oh, that's, that's satisfying. Um, I feel like I haven't done that right though. Right, but anyway, I've been wearing gun belts for a long time um, and they are what they are. A lot of times they suck, a lot of times they don't. I've worn a lot of really, really bad gun belts. Uh, the, mili the Navy is not well known in the community that I am normally in for their uh, high quality equipment, I'll put it that way. Uh, Uncle Mike's, Gall's, and the whatnot it was was commonplace so it was very often you would purchase your own stuff i don't know if i would run a full duty duty belt off something this this small and this thin but i can tell you right now just from how it feels i would absolutely wear a pistol and a couple mags off of it maybe even a small blowout kit Possibly a uh, flashlight. And it's it's sturdy. Um, it looks the part for what I'm going for. The buckle is really nice. It's got their logo on a Jukmo. It's nice metal. Metal buckle, metal ratchet. Um, I don't know if it's like a powder coating or what, but the coat the coating is really good. It doesn't look chintzy by any means. It's not overly... Um, it's very matte. It's very dull. Even I mean, you see the light kind of hitting it, but it's still not too shiny. So that's a bonus. All in all, uh, first impressions on this belt are very positive. I'm going to be actually running this with uh, a holster and magazine pouches probably later in the week, if not next week. And I'm going to do a video including this belt again uh, when I get the holster that I have on the way and the mag pouches and I'll actually be hanging a Glock 17 airsoft gun not a real one off of it and some airsoft magazines and then I'll probably actually hang my Glock 37 off of it my real one to tell you how it feels between a 
gas blowback and an actual firearm and how well I think it holds up as far as weight distribution and uh, the material itself as far as flexing or non-flexing and the whatnot. Um, so first impressions are very positive for, I think it was like 17, 18 bucks. Uh, I, I'm very happy with the purchase on this belt from Amazon. I will definitely BB war the hell out of this thing. I, I did again, like I said, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on something that I'm going to go running around in the woods in and swamping in. I'll, I'll spend my, my hard earned dollars on a belt for carrying that I'm not going to screw up running around with my son in the woods or at some airsoft field to get all jacked up doing that. I'll spend my good money on an actual nice belt that I'm going to wear daily that I'm going to keep nice. So 18 bucks for something I might screw up is definitely money well spent. If you have any comments or questions about the patches or this belt, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Uh, again, this is just a uh, initial impressions video. I won't, I won't be able to give you too much detailed answers yet, but hopefully over the next few weeks and month, I'll be able to give you a more detailed uh, thoughts on this belt and the patches because I will be actually getting to use them because now I'm getting more, uh, like I've said in other videos, I'm getting more mobile because I'm actually able to walk on my own power now, which is kind of nice. Oh, I did actually go, also, I forgot to mention this. It did come in this nice little, uh, little bag, little gray, like, sill nylon carrying bag. I, I really don't know why. I mean, I don't plan on putting the, the belt back in this bag to carry it around. But, probably use this bag to hold other stuff. That's kind of cool. So now I got a little cool little, uh, little extra baggy for shit. I mean, I'll show my nerdness. I, I, if I was playing D&D &D a lot, I got a little, I have a dice bag. That's cool. Whatever. Um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, if you got any specific questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, if you liked the review, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this kind of content or more reviews, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to update as uh, much as possible. And... Um, I have no affiliation with any of the product companies shown. I have no affiliation with Amazon. I bought this stuff with my own hard-earned money because I needed it for my nerdy BB war habit. So all the initial impressions are my own and positive or negative thoughts are my own. They're not being influenced by anybody giving me free shit. So yeah, there's that. Until next time, y'all, take it easy. See you in the next one.